I'd like a drink, please. Sure. <laughs> what will you have? Bring me a grog. Grog it is. Right. The bottle's closed. That opened it. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull! That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> So then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? <laughs> Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. Hey! Really dead? Oh, come on, cut it out. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. I think that knocking is coming from inside this coffin. Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there! Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well, uh... Of course! Guybrush Threepwood! You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered?
Run along now and let me set up my office. Hmm? We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense! This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. It's from the Caribbean Correspondence Institute. Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. It's locked. I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. It worked! I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. Baron C. Lambert Chowder Good Soup, pioneer of crouton technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar.
I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. What? I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. The Good Soups, A Life in Pictures by M.M. Good Soup.